what's happening guys hope everybody's doing well and having a great day in this video we're going up here to the sun taking a look at this wide field of view of the soho lasco c3 instrument this is the lasco c2 instrument they both monitor the sun and the areas around the sun this field of view is about 30 million miles wide we're going to take a look at what this bright object is i've gotten three emails now pertaining to that very bright object in the field of view speaking of bright objects got another video of the recent Starlink launch, this time from Eric R. out of Monroe Township, New Jersey. This was once again up the eastern seaboard at 6 o'clock in the morning. This was a little different view as you can see the, the rocket separation right there. Very unique perspective of the Starlink launch. One that we have not seen yet. We've gotten three now. One from March 11th and two from March 14th. Thank you guys. Great observations. Now over here to the website, taking a quick look at the Schumann Resonance. A little bit of background noise scattered throughout the Schumann, but overall pretty quiet. Now a quick look over here at the Space Weather Prediction Center. You can see here at the, the solar spiral is not showing anything incoming through the 22nd into the 23rd. Little bit of activity, but overall that too is pretty quiet. Hopping over to the Yellowstone Supervolcano Caldera, looking at the seismographs that monitor the mighty supervolcano. Little bit of earthquake activity here and there scattered around the, the caldera, but all in all pretty quiet. Not too much activity at the supervolcano. Quick look at the earth-facing side of the sun. Not a whole lot of activity on the earth-facing side, but there was a large filament eruption right up here in the upper northeastern quadrant of the sun just a few hours ago looked like a gigantic tarantula leaping off of the surface of the sun that is a humongous filament eruption check this out I recorded it I zoomed in and it is quite spectacular calling this a feisty filament March 17th of 2021 this just occurred a few hours ago look at that towering column of plasma right there it's sprawled out to where from this field of view it looked like a big spider sitting up on the surface of the sun and then it erupted leaping off there it is in reverse I slowed it down zoomed in a little bit here it is in a slightly different format and you can see what looks like a thick filament of plasma reaching up off the surface of the sun then sprawling out got magnetism at work right here on the surface of the sun that's what pulled that plasma back down but some of it did manage to leap off however it is not earth facing so won't be problematic for planet earth and won't even cause any auroras but we could see some in the days ahead as that active region rotates towards planet earth now over to the soho alasco c3 instrument I've gotten a couple of emails pertaining to this bright object in the future field of view of the spacecraft and what that is is Venus in retrograde the reason it's so bright is because it's behind the Sun reflecting light back towards the earth when it orbits between the earth and the sun it's not quite as bright when it's behind the sun like it is right now and this is a still image of the current position of the planets dated march 17th of 2021 in fact i just took this screen grab from earth towards the sun venus is at the four o'clock position and that's where it's at from the field of view of the soho lasco c3 spacecraft it will not be visible in the soho lasco c2 as it will stay just below the field of view of the lasco c2 instrument you you can see right there this is the field of view of the lasco c2 it's going to go right below it and in fact it's going to stay in the field of view of this spacecraft for another three weeks so you'll see that bright object which is planet venus in the field of view of the lasco c3 spacecraft now i want to take you guys over to the united kingdom article here dated march 9th of 2021 from sky news remember the large meteor back on february 28th that entered the atmosphere above northern europe was spotted by hundreds if not thousands thousands of people well to make a long story short you can find this article link below in the description box talks more about this in detail that meteor that entered the atmosphere above planet earth on february 28th was older than the earth the meteorites that it produced and the ones that they found in fact this right here is a, a photo of one of the meteorites that landed in a person's driveway in the united kingdom dates back 4.6 billion years supposedly older than earth itself fascinating story scientists are describing this event as incredibly exciting because they've only found 51 of these meteorites in the history of collecting meteors on planet earth so fascinating story you can find a link below down in the description box now i've got a brand new picture 
your slideshow. New sky phenomena photos sent in from all around the world. Amy H. out of Ormond Beach, Florida. Notice this unique configuration up in the sky that looks like there was once a ship parked in the sky, like a cloaked craft. And you can see some lines behind this larger craft. You can see some smaller ones, some straight lines back here off in the distance that, that Amy noticed as well. In the sky, in the low-lying clouds above Ormond Beach, Florida. And it almost looks like it's moving through the sky. Here's another one back here, a smaller version of the larger one we just saw, straight lines above it and below it. A couple of them right there. A lot of activity above Ormond Beach. Chris out of Louisiana also noticed what looked like a cloaked craft up in the sky. Very unique shape in the low clouds above Louisiana. Joey out of Michigan noticed the same phenomenon and they all appear to be about the same size. Not exactly the same shape, but all quite large. Adam and Gwendolyn, what looks like a ship just parked in the sky. Here it is in an inverted format. Definitely looks like a bell-shaped saucer up in the sky. Colorado Springs, Colorado, Maurice, and in this photo of a super unique lenticular cloud above the Rocky Mountains. That thing is incredible. Great job, Marie. Scott M. out of Deep River, Connecticut. Awesome sunrise looking out over the Atlantic. Jessica Marie out of Lucerne, California. Notice what looked like a row of ships just parked in the sky out above the Pacific Ocean. Great job, guys. You're wide awake and on the ball. Mark B. noticed what looked like a donut just parked up in the sky. Over here on the left is the original photograph. On the right, I zoomed in, and you can see what looks like a perfectly round circle, a circular object just parked up in the sky, much smaller version of the larger hole punch clouds that we saw earlier. MJ Gibbons out of Mount Shasta, California. Some titanic looking lenticular clouds in the skies above Mount Shasta. Photo here sent in by Will R. of what looks like a row of roll clouds in the sky. Same observation by Ariel P. out of Aberdeen, Florida. Same exact phenomena. A row of roll clouds in the sky stacked on top of each other. Great job, guys. If you have any photos you'd like to share, you can send those to reports at MrMBB333.com. All of the photos end up here at the Sky Phenomena Photo Gallery at the website. And sometimes I'll use them in a video just like you saw right here. Thanks for watching. Have a super day. And be safe out there.